are in the room. So the first meal I'm gonna have on the cruise is this burger. channel I hope you are excited for this video I know I am it was I got to go on vacation and then I got to like carry my camera around and video some really cool stuff and so what I'm gonna be doing in this video is kind of giving you like a hack or kind of like a guide of optional meals you can have going on a carnival cruise that I'm pretty sure every carnival cruise has um, that you can have and stay in ketosis so yeah cool stuff that's coming up and I hope you enjoy all right let's get started with that first meal of the day, some people say is the most important meal of the day, that's breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Breakfast is important. Breakfast is where you can get a lot of your fat at the beginning of a day. And so when you go into a cruise ship, your breakfast really, really does matter. Now, my wife and I have been on three cruises, uh, three carnival cruises. Um, she's been on four. We love carnival. We like uh, the rewards program that they have, everything that they have for um, younger people and all that kind of stuff. We always have a great, great time on a carnival cruise. You may you know, have better experience with the other cruise, but for the price and stuff like that, you really can't beat a carnival cruise. Um, something that we learned on this carnival cruise for the first time is that you can actually go to your dining room and order breakfast, like a really nice sit down dining experience with breakfast, like you would get at, uh, at dinner time, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so what you would be able to do is you get a menu, uh, they bring you out like coffee and water and stuff like that, just like at dinner. Um, but yeah, the food is awesome. Awesome. Um, but the menu is just like crazy, uh, filled with like really, really good um, options for you uh, to choose from throughout throughout the day. Um, so for the one day that I did find out that you could go down to the dining room and eat breakfast, um, Molly and I went down and I had steak and eggs. I got like six ounces of steak, um, eggs cooked however I wanted, and then I got like a pile pile of bacon. Um, so. Yeah, it was really awesome. I didn't get to look at that menu as best as I could, um, thinking about how I was gonna make this video. Um, my eyes were immediately drawn to that steak and eggs. I'm sure if you do keto, you would see that and probably do the same. So if you go, go to the dining room and get you some steak and eggs, it's awesome. If you don't wanna be that fancy for breakfast, I would suggest going to probably, you know, maybe the, uh, the, the cafeteria or something like that. And that's probably the only meal of the day that I would say go to the cafeteria. The cafeteria is where they hide the pizza, the sandwiches, and most worst, like, the worst thing that you can see is when you're trying to be, you know, stay strong on keto, is see somebody carrying around a cone of ice cream. And so, I would just stay out of the cafe unless you're going for breakfast. Um, you can get, there you can get, like, eggs, bacon, and ham every day. And if, you, if, you're, if you're like me, I don't eat too heavy of a breakfast. Um, so, you know, eating those throughout the day or at the beginning of my day is actually a pretty, pretty good meal for me. Now, second up, we have lunch. I would say that lunch is probably going to be your best option to eat really, really good keto food on a cruise. Now, again, I would say stay out of the cafeteria, but onto the Lido deck where the pool is and everything like that. Um, they have Guy Fieri's uh, burger joint, which is going to be very similar to like a Five Guys or something like that. And so what I would do when I would eat there is I was order a, I would order a burger or two or three patties and then I would put um, cheese and bacon, uh, leave off the bun, um, ranch, mayo, just lettuce, just load that thing up and just have like a giant mound of burger and it was so, so good. So I would do that. I did that probably two times this week for lunch. The other times I went to the Blue Iguana Cantina, which is just so option. You have so... So awesome! You have so many options that you can you, know, you can do throughout the throughout your vacation when you go to that place. It's like a kind of like a Chipotle or a Moe's or something like that. But what I would do is I get like a taco salad like in a burrito bowl, and I would fill that up. I wouldn't eat the burrito bowl when I was done, but I would fill that up with um, lettuce starting out, and then I'd put some maybe some pico in there, some pico de gallo, and then you have like three choices of meat. You have uh, chicken, which is going to be more white meat, so you kind of want to stay away from that if you're trying to get, you know, more fat throughout the day. Um, and then you have shrimp, which is probably pretty good for you, and then uh, steak. So I would always do steak and shrimp on mine. Um, and then I would get uh, sour cream in there, some cheese, uh, 
some bacon again, some ranch, uh, just kind of like mix it up every day. You have guacamole you could throw in there. And so every day that was just a really, really good solid meal for me to get a lot of my really, really good fats throughout the day. So that's where I would get probably a majority of like my good greens and stuff like that. So excellent, excellent meal. Your lunch is going to be your easiest thing to do. Now one of going to be the hardest thing you can do is probably dinner. Dinner's going to be rough because they bring you out first thing when you sit down a giant plate of rolls and you're going to be like, ah, I want that bread. I want to dip it in butter. But you got to be strong and you got to fight it. And you can do it by doing these things right here. First, what you're going to do is you're going to look at the appetizers and there's two appetizers you can have every single night which is nice. You can have the shrimp cocktail and you can take the shrimp out of it and add it to a Caesar salad. And then you can remove the croutons from your Caesar salad and have kind of like a shrimp um, cocktail Caesar salad, which is really, really good. Um, some good fats in there, um, really filling, so you don't really think about the bread that much. And I really like to do that almost every night. For the main course, you could always order off the grill, which is really nice, which is a whole section of like four menu items. And I think three of those four you can eat fully in in keto. You could do uh, like the the, the steak, um, the flat iron steak, which is really good, um, which comes with like broccoli and a baked potato. You can leave off the baked potato, order extra broccoli, maybe two or three of those broccolis with a side of ranch or something like that if you're trying to get your fat grams. If you're kind of kind of calculate it in your head. Um, another thing you can do, you can do salmon. Um, and I would suggest getting two pieces of the salmon if you could ask for that from the kitchen. Also ordering broccoli on the side or maybe green beans or something like that. But the piece of meat you get is probably like that big. So two of those is a pretty big piece of salmon. So that would probably do that. And then you could always get the pork chops too and ask them to leave off some of the sauce or you could scrape off the sauce and again get broccoli. Now throughout the throughout the week you're going to get different options that you can get. get like I think there's a filet mignon. I believe there's a, a prime rib that you can order or you know, some, something else that you can order. But a lot of it's going to be like a breaded uh, meat or like a breaded uh, pasta or something like that. Something that you're going to need to stay away from. One of the hardest things that's going to be for you is, is leaving a lot of that chocolate melting cake. That thing is so, so good. Um, I love it, but I knew that I had to fight it and not eat it once this week, and I did. And I was really proud of myself, but it was tough. Because um, the only option you have for dessert that you can eat on keto is this plate of cheese. You get a couple different cheeses. I think it's Swiss, uh, Gouda. Um, brie and blue cheese um, so you can have those little slices of cheese you can order as much as you want if you really like it but yeah that was the hardest thing to do is sit at dinner and watch those people eat that cake uh, that was probably the hardest thing for me throughout the week lastly I kind of want to leave you guys with some tips that I wish I would have known before I before I went on the ship um, I would have packed a little bit better I would have prepared myself a little bit better for how I'm going to go on to my next cruise um, First thing I want to talk about is how their coffee options for a, a person in doing keto um, is really kind of rough. Um, you could do low carb um, and, and get like Splenda or something like that, but I didn't have any Stevia or whatever your, your choice of keto um, sweeteners are. So for me, I needed a sweetener to sweeten my coffee with. Um, they have half and half, which is I've, I've been I've been I've known it to be kind of like a gray area in keto. Like you, some people think that you can't have half and half. Some people believe that you can. Um, so for me, I would have half and half. Um, but yeah, that's another weird option. Um, that if you don't eat half, drink half and half, you know that's kind of hard for you. Um, another thing is uh, they don't have any coconut oil, which is pretty obvious. Um, I would have packed coconut oil to bring onto it and then probably a little like blender. So then I could have made my keto coffee every day. That would have been awesome. Um, but I just, you know, I just didn't think about it. Um, so I wish I would have known that was starting out. Um, another thing I wish I would have done is brought some of my own snacks. Uh, they don't have like a lot of options for like nuts and stuff like that. Or like uh, they obviously don't have like pork rinds or quest bars. So I kind of wish I would have brought some of those things to snack on. I didn't have any snacks. I brought maybe one sleeve of sunflower seeds and I wish I had those in the nights when I I'd want to snack on something. I'm a huge, huge snacker, um, especially when I'm on vacation or I'm out in the sun all day. You know, you're going to be naturally more hungry than you are, you know, working for me at my desk job. So those are the things I would say that you need to learn um, and know before you're going to go on your ship. That being said, I would say 
The cruise was not too bad doing keto. I believe that you could do it um, like I did. I had a lot of fun on the cruise regardless. I was with people who ate how they wanted to and it was just fun. Um, we had a great time and, and now that I'm back home I don't feel like I missed out on anything that I, that I didn't get to experience or whatever. But yeah, I love Carnival. If you're going to go on a cruise, I would say go Carnival and you save yourself a lot of money and the options for keto are really well. But yeah. I hope this video helped you out. If it didn't, it might have still showed you some cool things that if you ever thought about going on a vacation, but it might be hard doing keto. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon, icon beside where the subscribe button is so that you know every time I post a video like this, I try to post like a keto tip or a keto recipe or something to help you grow and be a better person and feel healthier and take care of yourself that's what it's all about for me um but yeah thank you so so much for watching i'll see you again next time bye